If you want to know what your beat sounds like in a completely different key in seconds, then watch this video ASAP. If not, then, you know, you're going to take the long way and it's going to take ages and you're going to make less beats and you don't want that, do you? So first thing you need to know is, yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to transpose your entire beat in seconds. And no need to drag this out. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now, my question of the day is what key do you usually start to make your beats in? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think that'll be very, very interesting. Me personally, I start most of my beats in G sharp minor because that's just where my voice naturally sits. Sometimes I'll do G minor, sometimes I'll do F sharp minor, but usually G sharp minor and then I'll move it around from then on. So here's the beat in question. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the channel rack because as you can see, I've bounced some of my beat down to MIDI files. Uh, not MIDI files, the audio files. And if you do that, then you'll need to transpose those audio files independently. But what we can do is I can bring up one melodic element. Let's not do too much, but let me just play back the actual beat and then I'll play um, the pattern and I'll show you exactly how to transpose it really, really quickly. Okay, so let's play a little bit of the beat. Ooh, song. Okay, great. So let's go to the pattern. And what I'm going to do is we only want one of these kicks on and one of these 808s on. We don't want both of them because these are, you know, the two variations. Let me see if there's anything else I want to turn off. This should work. Let me just, let's turn off the synth bass and listen back real quick so we can hear if everything's working. Okay, my CPU is dying trying to play this back. Maybe it's because I also got Ozone on. So let's turn off Ozone. That might help a little bit. Let's try it one more time. Okay, that did help. Okay, good enough. Now, all you need to do is come to the top, yeah? And you want to select everything, basically. So in order to select it, you basically left click over here or left click twice and that selects everything. Then go to transpose selected. Then you just move down in semitone. So let me sh show you how it's done and then I'll explain exactly how this works. So if you don't know about semitones and how to move to other keys. So I'm going to go down two semitones. This should bring me from what is this G minor to what happened there? Uh, must have pressed some sort of thing. Minus two. <laughs> this should bring me from G minor to, let me check my keyboard, G to F minor, okay? So I'm gonna click this accept button and now we should be in F minor, let's play it back. Come on. Don't beat me up like this, man. Okay, we can't be using Ample Guitar because it's just too much. It's just far too much. Let's use, where's this one? Let's use my verse melody because Omnisphere doesn't beat me out that much. Okay, beautiful. Omnisphere, my good old friend, my good old pal. You never beat up my CPU that much. I mean, you're not the best, but still. So here we are. And the way I determine what key I'm in is I generally will start my chord structure with the root note of the key that I'm using. So the root note would then tell you what key you're in. So the root note right here is F. So that's the key that we're in F minor. Now, 
if I move it right back or I go to undo, let's see if we can just undo. Can we undo the transpose? I'm not sure if you can actually do that. Let's just transpose it up. So we'll go to here, click on the left thing over here, then go to transpose select. Oh, we need to select everything, my bad. Select everything, double click, go to transpose selected, press plus two. And now it will be in G minor yet again. And if we go in here, instead of being on F, it's now on G, as you can see before it was down here, then it just goes up to, and that's how that works. So let me quickly explain the basics of transposition if you don't understand it. Basically, when you transpose something, the semitones is like, let me show you, let me show you in this main, this main melody, yeah? Because I already made a video on how to transpose things, which will walk you through that if you want to go and check that out in some greater depth. But this is just the easy way to transpose everything. Also want to give you a little disclaimer. When you're actually selecting everything, you might not want to select everything. Like you might not want to select your hi-hats and your claps and your perks because moving those in you know, either direction with the semitones will get you a different tone. So you generally want to select all your melody elements as well as your 808s and your bass elements and stuff like that. So with that out of the way, this is currently in G, G minor. And if we play this back and solo this, this is what it sounds like. Beautiful. Now, if we use the shift button, we hold that down and we move the arrows down one, two, that brings us to F minor, okay? Every note is a semitone. So every one, that's one semitone. One, that's another semitone. Every single note you see here is one semitone, okay? That should explain it enough for you to understand what's going on here. So in order for you to know where what key you're gonna end up in, great thing to do would be to basically know what key you're in already. If you don't know what key you're in, then it's a bit of a crapshoot really, but know what key you're in. And then if you haven't got an, uh, something playing that note in your melody, generally you will because it's the root note of your uh, key. But if you don't, then I'll just suggest, you know, you just place it down or something so that when you do transpose it, you can clearly see what key you've moved into. But another way to understand that is to look at where the root note is placed and then you know, you know, each note is a semitone. So I knew that G, if I move down to, it would end up on F. So we're currently in G minor. If we move down to, we're going to be in F minor. And if you're in a major, when you move and transpose, it will be in the major key or whatever key you're, you're moving to. If you're in a minor, it will be in the minor key. Okay. So if I wanted to move from G minor to F sharp minor, how many semitones would I need to move down? Let me know in the comment section down below. Did you write it? Hope you did. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you'd have to move one. Well, actually you'd have to move, yeah, did I say F sharp? Yeah, you'd have to move one. If I wanted to go from G to A minor, you'd have to move up to, okay? And let me just show you an example of that so you can see in action. So you 100% understand exactly how this is working. So let, let's select everything again. Remember, double click over here go to the top left, go to transpose selected, press plus two, and now we are in A minor. Let's play this back. And we can select everything and hear everything in A minor, the entire beat. And just to double check, let's go in here and we can see that instead of being on G, this is on A. And that is the way it works. That's how you transpose your entire beat in seconds, okay? This is the fast way to do it. The long way is to go in every track and select it and shift up and down and go in all the melody tracks. The fast way is to just select it here. You can deselect things by pressing right click on them. So we can deselect all the drums over here. And then we've got all the melodies and I guess we don't want the kicks moving. And then we got all the melodies and we're pretty much good to go in order to transpose everything, okay? So 
This video is going to save you a bunch of time. Comment down below if it helped you out. And the great thing is I've also got something else that's going to save you a bunch of time and help you make your own trap beats from scratch and have them sounding beautiful. Yeah. Right now you can get my easy nine step trap beat making formula. All you need to do is go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course. It'll take you from the beginning of creating a beat all the way to the end and that's going to save you a lot of time and teach you how to make a beat very, very easily. So definitely check that out. It's completely free, so there's no reason not to, but it's not going to be available forever. So act now. OK, link down below jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course. Now, if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. In the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.